Moyes is a collaborative project conducted by the IRT St. Exupery. Focused on the aerospace domain. It brings together industrial companies, consulting firms, tool vendors and public research institutes around a common goal, to develop collaborative model-based approaches for system engineering in the extended enterprise. When developing complex systems, partners of the extended enterprise have to exchange and process tons of engineering data, most of which in a text format. Through a greater use of models, the project aimed at improving the efficiency of information sharing between companies and across engineering domains. By providing means to achieve seamless co-engineering, we help reducing misunderstandings, design iterations, and ultimately development costs. The project tackled four thematics. 1. How to exchange and aggregate heterogeneous modeling data across the extended enterprise. 2. Ensuring consistency between safety analysis and system definition models. 3. Generation of a co-simulation environment based on the system architecture description. 4. Improvement of the need elicitation using models, in a customer-supplier relationship. When designing complex systems model-based system engineering helps to improve the communication between stakeholders, but it also makes it possible to perform early validation of the system architecture through simulation. However when considering an extended enterprise, each supplier has its own specific methods and tools, resulting in heterogeneous formats of simulation models. Besides the confidentiality of proprietary data must be ensured in order to allow an effective collaboration between partners. Taking into account these constraints, Moyes project developed and validated a methodology to produce a simulation environment allowing cross-domain integration and system architecture validation in an extended enterprise context. To generate the simulation environment we defined a new role the simulation architect who is responsible for the following key steps. Step 1, definition of one simulation architectures, inheriting from the system architecture models. Step 2, specification of a co-simulation platform, taking into account physical coupling and IT infrastructure constraints. Step 3, Specification of quality criteria to limit co-simulation impacts develop the right models or assess existing ones. All these steps are supported by MBSE Concepts Extension. Step 1. Definition of Simulation Architecture Working directly into the system architecture model, the simulation architect defines the system functional perimeter to be simulated taking into account validation objectives and simulation technical constraints. Once the system under test is defined, the system's environment can be detailed by adding simulation-specific functions and data flows. Finally test scenarios are defined from validation objectives, including initialization data and external solicitations. This method can be used to define the simulation architectures, while keeping traceability with the initial system architecture description. To support the development of the simulation architecture model we defined a simulation modeling viewpoint. It ensures that the simulation architecture is consistently linked with reference system architecture model, and that it enables validation objectives. After having enriched the system architecture into a simulation architecture the simulation architect can now split it for co-simulation purpose. Step 2. Specification of a co-simulation platform Thanks to the co-simulation modeling viewpoint simulation units are defined considering both the extended enterprise structure and the simulation constraints. Then each simulated function is allocated to one simulation unit. This allocation is indicated within the co-simulation architecture model allowing automatic definition of the interfaces between simulation units. Interface types units and other properties are directly inherited from the system architecture model. This guarantee the consistency of the interfaces and therefore a smooth integration of the simulation units. As a result the co-simulation viewpoint enables partners of the extended enterprise to develop their part of the co-simulation with their own methods, tools, organizations, and ease the integration of the simulation environment.
One of the benefit is to generate the co-simulation configuration files needed for the co-simulation execution. Step 3. Specification of Quality Criteria The proper definition of co-simulation requires to specify validity domains for each simulation units. This is the purpose of the scenario and quality viewpoint. Model validity domain are composed of assumptions on input range, derivative or frequencies and similar constraints on outputs. For the whole co-simulation iterations may be necessary to achieve consistency of these mutually dependent criteria. Additionally constraints may be defined from test scenarios and associated expected results estimated from real system measurements mathematical equation or previous simulations, which enable to add accuracy and delay constraints. By this specification the scenario and quality viewpoint prevents over-engineering and facilitates the reuse of models. The proposed method based on model-based system engineering and co-simulation techniques enables a better communication across the extended enterprise thanks to the simulation architect role. Efficient definition of the co-simulation requirements and improved change management thanks to modeling viewpoints. Acceleration of the generation of the co-simulation environment in the quality reports through partial automation. Moyes project also produced transverse outcomes that supported our activities. A study case of a drone for aircraft pre-flight inspection. It is composed of architecture models, safety models and behavioral simulation models some of which are open source and can be downloaded from the IRT St. Exupery Forge. A glossary or more precisely an ontology for more than 300 terms relating to system engineering constituting a valuable common reference. And is part of our state-of-the-art review a structured databases of 230 ID cards for MBSE methods languages and tools that can be accessed online by our project members. Thank you for your interest, and do not hesitate to contact us for further information.